So what's good, sneakers? Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Retro Young. Kicks and laces in the fucking building. Just took a walk down uh, to Foot Locker to get some tickets. Tickets for a size 10 and a size 13 in the red 12s if anybody's looking. This video should go up today, hopefully. Um, I got to see those, uh, what are these? I was just about to call them the DB8s, but I just got to see the uh, CNC joints. The white joints, I guess that's the, sh yeah, the champagne joints. I just saw them, champagne eights. I'm trying to figure out, they still got flu games. And look up there. They still got those CNC's. Hmm. That's crazy. Seen the shoe. It's a dope shoe. This is a size four and a half. But it definitely has a. It's definitely not white, as you can see the difference between the toe. In the shoe and that pearl there. I don't know how I feel about these, but easy pass for me though. But they're not whack. Not whack at all. They okay though. Dope shoe. Dope, dope, dope shoe. But I say but. I did not know that they weren't white. It's so crazy how the filters and things on um, the filters and things on uh, these pictures definitely give you a different look of these shoes when you see them. You know what I'm saying? So I got to see them. I think it's a very dope shoe. The accents of gold is fire. Even the pearlescent, the pearlescent, you know, paint almost patent leatherish look that they give or should I say the, 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 that they gave the shoe I think those are dope or that is dope should I say on the shoe but it reminds me of the same vintage look that is on those tins that just released and I'm just not a fan of it I'm not a fan of uh, I'm not a fan of the off-white I thought the shoe was all white but as you can see the difference between Excuse me, the difference between the actual shoe material and it's a nice suede, like it's a nice short hair suede Durabucks type of same, same, uh, I would say the same. What the fuck? Oh my fucking lord, yo. That fucking music pisses me off every fucking time. Like, why? First off, why is that restaurant open? Nobody's coming to your restaurant to eat fucking steak at 10 in the fucking morning. And don't mind me, like, I've been up for almost two days now. But, anyway, like I was saying, it's almost the same, or I want to say it is the same uh, material that's on the uh, the Bordeaux 7s. And I got to see the, the UNC 12s also, which I already saw them, but I didn't, like, dissect them. You know what I'm saying? But I got to really look at those. I didn't freaking show y'all those because that shoe already been came out and it wasn't a real hype. They definitely still have size runs of them on East Bay and a few other sites. And I know they had a size, size. They had sizes in Foot Locker. They had those. They had both of the ones. And, um,. Trying to think, what else did they have? They still had flu games, and I think that flu game that was on the shelf was like a five and a half or a six. So they still have Jordans on the freaking uh, shelf, which is a good thing. Um, let me know if y'all copped anything. If y'all copped those eights, how y'all feeling about those eights? How y'all feeling about the UNCs? Not that all the reviews are down. I went to go get tickets for the 12s. So I got two tickets for that. 
like I said, a 10 and a 13. If anybody is looking, I'm talking as if I won on one on them, one on the raffle already, but I'm pretty sure there's more than enough pairs due to people knowing that the 12s are, um, should I say that, that the fives, the fives are going to be the release, the release to get. So I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna hit on those 12s. Um, don't really know what resale's gonna be on them, but I figure it's gonna be enough for me to make a little change off of it. When DS is back in the building from his vacay. <laughs> and this is what, that's what he has on his feet working. These are done, man. The next one. These are. <laughs> Look at this. This, this oh. is what he does. This is what he does. He wears his feet. He wears his shoes, people. Yeah. How was round two? Round two was lit. It was, uh, <laughs> Virginia's next. Oh, Virginia. Virginia's next. Okay. Virginia's next. He, he got to, he was one of the special ones that got to see the gallery in LA. Being from New York, they definitely let him let him walk up in there. He says it's lit, so I'm kind of jealous right now. But it's okay. I lived through my homie. It's all right. <laughs> I lived through my homie. Oh, man. Yo, tell them about Ultra Boost. Yo, Shorty was downstairs looking at Ultra Boost, and I told her you got a you Store's got a pair. not open yet, is it? No. Oh, oh, but, oh, oh. See, look at look, look, no. look, look, Ultra Boost are the comfiest shoes I told that her. you can buy. I just told her. She's just trying There's no Nike, there. no Adidas. All there is is comfort. Yeah. And those are the comfiest shoes. My thank you. Pin died. I wear my shoes, not my pants. <laughs> um, uncaged ones are coming out 220. And you know why they did that though? Because everybody was cutting that crap off. So they was like, but yo, let's make some money off that. They are the comfiest shoes. So the uncaged are 120. No, the uncaged are 220. The what? regular ones are 180. And yes. you can make that yourself. <laughs> that is crazy. Well, they have like the slock, the, the slock. The sock. The sock design on them. Yeah, yeah. But I, I gotta get a pair. I gotta get a pair. You guys know I just dropped my yeah, phone. That's what I get. I have oh, one. Have yeah. Yeah. I just I can't walk around work with it like that. Yo, I just dropped my phone. And that feeling when you drop it and you go to pick it up when the screen is down. So on that note, I'm stopping this here. Okay? Because it's your fault. It's your fault.